So if we look at the x acquire fast mutex function on ReactOS, we find this link. From here, we can look for the function and then click on the actual function. It will show the actual code and we can show the full function by clicking here. So now we have the code for x acquire fast mutex. We can see at the beginning that it's, there is an assert which is not going to be in the actual release, but that actually checks that the IRQL is below APC level by calling ke get current IRQL. This function will actually retrieve the IRQL from a register. Also, this function actually raises the IRQL to APC level before doing the rest. So let's see how it's implemented into the actual assembly. Another thing worth mentioning is the documentation of X acquirer fast mutex. We see on the MSDN that the colors need to be running IRQL under APC level. And again, the documentation says that the IRQL is changed to APC level. This confirms what ReactOS was telling us. Now let's look at the code in WinDBG. Let's disassemble the NTKE get current RQL function. We can see this function is really small and all it does is it retrieves CR8 register and saves it into RX to return it to the caller. So basically CR8 holds the IRQL information. If we check the IRQL for our current thread, we see it's 13. If we check the actual CR8 value, it holds not only 13, but also other information. We can confirm the CR8 register is used for the IRQL by looking at blocks. Now let's look at X acquire fast mutex. We set a breakpoint on that function. Once we hit the breakpoint, we check the IRQL. We can see we are at the low level. So now let's analyze the source code in Ghidra. The X acquire fast mutex is this. We are interested in finding where CR8 is used because we know it's going to be how you can change the IRQL. We see CR8 is actually set here. So here I'm going to set a breakpoint at that particular address into WinBag. For this I'm just going to use RedSync to ease the process but you can find the address otherwise. As you can see, I've set a breakpoint just before changing CR8. Now, as I can see, I'm still with IRQL low level. RBX hold the old IRQL, which is zero for low level. The new one we're gonna set is one for APC level. After stepping over, I check the IQL. As you can see, now we are under APC level. So what we just saw is the KE raise IQL function that is in line. It actually raised the IQL from low level to APC level. 